Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about Avogadro's Law. So still, we have the same learning competency, which is to use the gas laws to determine pressure, volume, or temperature of a gas under certain conditions of change. So this law is discovered by Amadeo Avogadro in 1800s, which is famous for the Avogadro's number, right? If you remember that. I do not. I've heard of it, though. <laughs> so this gives the relationship between volume and amount of gas when pressure and temperature are held constant. So again, volume and amount of gas, or N, right? So here, if the amount of gas, or N, in a container is increased, the volume increases. So why? Suppose the amount is increased. This means that there are more gas molecules and this will increase the number of impacts or collisions on the container walls. This also means that the gas pressure inside the container will increase, becoming greater than the pressure on the outside of the walls. With that, we can also say that if the amount of gas in a container is decreased, the volume increases. So therefore, we can generalize this into this equation or mathematical relationship, we can say that volume is directly proportional to the number of or to the amount of gas. Considering that T and P, or temperature and pressure, are constant. Formula for Avogadro's law is V1 over N1 is equal to V2 over N2. This can be further generalized into equal volumes of different gases at the same temperature, pressure contain the same molar amounts. So you can see in the figure, the balloon increases, or like the volume, of, or how big the balloon is increases when the number of moles increases. Okay, so now let's try to solve some problems. Let's have this. 5 liters of a gas is known to contain 0 0.965 moles. If the amount of gas is increased to 1.80 moles, what new volume will result at an unchanged temperature and pressure? So with that, you already know that we're looking for V2. Yes! <laughs> yes! So let's write the given. So V1 is equal to 5 liters. N1 is equal to 0 0.965 moles. N2 is 1.80 moles. And we're looking for V2. Now, just use the formula. And as for me, I'm going to use the easier one. <laughs> so by cross-multiplying it, I'll have V1 and 2 is equal to V2 and 1. So manipulating the formula, V2 is equal to V1 and 2 over n1 so now substitute the values this will give us 5 liters times 1.80 moles over 0 0.965 moles so canceling the units we will have liters so the final answer will be not this one but this equation will give us 9.32642 blah 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 and the final answer will be 9.33 because the given has three significant figures. Okay, so let's have a more challenging problem. Let's have this. A cylinder with a movable piston contains two grams of helium at a room temperature. More helium was added to the cylinder and the volume was adjusted so that the gas pressure remained the same. How many grams of helium were added to the cylinder if the volume was changed from 2 liters to 2.5 liters, considering that the temperature was held constant. And so we're not going to have that. Okay. Remember, we have this formula V1 over N1 is equal to V2, N2, and cross-multiplying it, this will give us V1, N2, V2, N1. Okay, now let's start with a given. So we're given 2 grams of helium. Right? So since we're dealing with the amount of gas, we want to have the number of moles. And we're given grams. So what we need to do is to convert this into moles. Okay, So 2 grams of helium by using dimensional analysis will have the molar mass of helium which is 4.00 grams and moles in the numerator. This will give us 0 0.5 moles of helium. Right? That will be our N1. And we have the given V1, 
liters. V2 is 2.5 liters. Okay, so it's from here, right? 2.0 to 2.5 liters. And we're looking for N2. So solving for N2, our formula will be V2 times N1 over V1, right? So substitute or put the given to the formula. This will give us 2.5 times 0.5 moles over 2.0 liters. Canceling the units, this will give us moles. And the final answer will be 0 0.625 moles. But is it the final answer? Okay, no. Because this is the ending amount of moles and not the moles of gas added. Cancel! Electric chair! Bye! Right? So, how do we get the moles of gas added? So, you have to subtract 0 0.5 moles. Okay, why? Because it's the initial amount of gas. So, this will give us 0 0.125 moles of helium. And we're looking for the grams of helium. So, again, we're going to use the dimensional analysis and the molar mass. If you don't know how to get the molar mass, we have another video for that. So, please check that out. So, using the molar mass, <laughs> the periodic table, we'll know that the molar mass of helium is 4.00 grams per mole. Canceling the moles, we'll have the grams, 0 0.5 grams of helium. Okay, so, that's the final answer. <sighs> Ito po si Judy Ann Santa sa Gansilio. Hanggang sa susunod, isang mahigpit ako. <laughs>